sacrifice to Mars. I'm pretty tired from overtime last night, so please bear with me. I'm not going to let this one go. This is a mad science classic. Wars and clan structure may explain a strange biological event. 7,000 years ago, Stanford researchers find. Unbelievable. Genetic data suggests that there was a collapse of male but not female genetic diversity starting 7,000 years ago. The reason may be wars between clans structured around male ancestry. So right here you get a clue as to what this is about. This is about a radical feminist approach where men were these big brutes and women were the victims and so on and so forth. And so they've constructed this fantasy that men uh, virtually wipe themselves out. You know, we know wars have been throughout history, we understand that, but come on. Starting about 7,000 years ago, something weird seems to have happened with men over the next few millennia. Recent studies suggest their genetic diversity, specifically the diversity of their Y chromosomes collapsed. So extreme was it that collapse that there was it was as if there were only one man left to mate for every 17 women. Now I'd say this lasted kept going over two millennia. So adding 2,000 years to that we get year 3000 BC. So, why don't we find out what was happening in the year 3000 B.C. So, what they're saying is that this, uh, spread into the Bronze Age. Uh, the year th the Bronze Age occurred roughly between 3000 B.C. and 2500 B.C. This is according to Wikipedia. Previous millennium had seen the re emergence of advanced urbanized civilizations, new bronze metallurgy, extending the productivity of agricultural work, and highly developed ways of communication in the form of writing. So, these idiots from Stanford, I said idiots, are saying that clan warfare just about wiped out men. At the same time, that uh, civilization was in the early stages of manufacturing and so forth, utterly ludicrous. I'll, I can tell you what this is, I'm going to say this again. This is the mental disorder of liberalism. This is radical feminism trying to put men down. That's all this is. Uh, there was no Neolithic Y chromosome bottleneck. There are different civilizations all over the planet. You gotta say, so uh, go, go back to Tefli. was an advanced civilization. It was 12,000 BC. If I'm not mistaken. But it gets worse. It's not unprecedented for the human di genetic diversity to take a non nose dive once in a while, but the Y chromosome bottleneck, which was inferred from genetic par patterns in modern humans, was an odd one. First, it, observed, it was observed only in men. More precisely, it was detected only through genes on the Y chromosome, which fathers pass on to their sons. Second, the bottleneck is more recent than other biologically similar events, thinking that its origins may have, have something to do with changing st social structures. Certainly, the re researchers point out social structures were changing after the onset of farming and herding about 12,000 years ago. 
societies grew increasingly organized around extended kinship groups, many of them patrilineal clans, a cultural fact which with potentially significant biological consequences. He is how clan members are related to one another, to each other. While women may have married into a clan, men and such clans were all related to male ancestors and therefore then they have the same Y chromosome. This is just to put men down and say women really rule the world and brutal men can lie and take things over. It's absurd. The timeline is absurd and the fact is that there are human uh, civilizations all over the planet back then. And you know, where were they even talking about? I don't think they even have a specific location. I'm not seeing one here. What about the Aborigines in Australia? Here's Wikipedia again. History of Indigenous Australians began at least 65,000 years ago. They mean Aborigines. When Aboriginal Australians populated Australia. This is a long time for uh, the Stanford researchers. That's uh, 65 millennia versus 7 millennia. This is an utterly absurd, ridiculous, and obviously liberal bunch of BS. That's all it is. That's it. I don't have a lot of time for this, but I just want people to know, I want to put this out and uh, show the absurdity of it all. Mad Science Classic. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching. I'll get some sleep sometime.